And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Cheap Zoods. <clears throat> and we are back with a little gameplay video. We're going to try to do gameplay with the lock in reward Gary Payton card from the Defensive Stoppers packs. Is he worth it? Should you lock in for it? Should you open these packs at all? Um, I just did a pack of opening video. If you want to go check that out, it's the video I just dropped. Um, other than that, we're going to do a little gameplay, run an unlimited game with Gary Payton. Um, I normally take it to the freestyle gym and, and shoot around with him, but he's not a shooter card, so there's really no point to do that. He's got decent badges. Um, bronze quick first step and bronze tight handles is not great. Uh, he does have Hoff Intimidator and stuff like that, though. Or I think he has Gold Intimidator. Um, yeah, he's got good defensive badges. We're also going to use Ben Wallace and Dennis Johnson, um, Doug Christie, and Bill Walton from that set in this team as well. I would use um, Tony Allen as well, but that would mean I would have absolutely zero shooting. So, yeah, I can't do that off the bench. I can't have any shooting. And I got the OG Goat Vernon Maxwell there to hold it down on the bench too. So, we're playing against a... Fuck. A team full of free agent cards which is the most toxic thing you can possibly run into on unlimited right now um legitimately my only two losses are two teams that were exclusively free agent cards and Derek rose <laughs> and that was like in the first two days of the game being released so uh my recording cut out unfortunately so i only have the second half and the 30 seconds of the first half so let's try it out gary payton with the step backs wet so far, I only got four points with him, so that should really dictate. I'm not the greatest player in the world by any stretch, like, for sure, but at the same time, like, if you watch my other gameplay videos, I typically do do pretty good with the cards, and the fact that I only got four points with Gary Payton, not great. That bronze quick first step is such a hindrance, especially because I'm going against this annoying-ass Allen Iverson, who, yep, yeah, does this pretty much every single time, steals the ball. He's a 96 with, like, ridiculous speed. Gary Payton, on the other hand, has done a decent job defending him, so he's not a bad defensive card, and honestly, this is like the perfect test. Well, I'm a bad defensive player, apparently, for that. Um, ben Wallace is insane inside. So let's run this with Gary Payton. What are we going to do? Uh, yeah, let's try that. Yep. Gary Payton does have a decent decent game from mid-range. Um, we're going to try to jump some points with him. I got eight, so eight and a half is terrible for me, anyway, when I'm using gameplay cards. Hit that. Uh, all right, let's see what his free throw is. I haven't even shot one yet, so. Slightly late. Meh. Uh, yeah, I mean, seven mid-70s on non-greens is decent. Like, that's decent, especially at this stage in the game. Uh, Allen Iverson. All right, Intimidator came in clutch there. He missed that layup. Let's give that to Gary Payton, a.k.a. the glove. Step backs. And he missed it. Fuck. It's all good. Um, I have, I am usually pretty good at hitting those, especially when it comes to like Vernon Maxwell and stuff. So there we go. Nice intimidator. Gary Payton again. Let's try it again. He's got this 95 MJ on me. Super annoying. Very, very good defensive badges on this Michael Jordan card. Nice little preview of what we're going to be dealing with later on. All right, Mitch Richmond. You know, let's just chuck a three real quick. Terrible. Should not have shot that, but it is what it is. So we got three minutes left in the third. We're up 38 to 33. All right, defense. Nope, got bombed. Bombed on. Straight up dual Jabbar, man. Bummer. All right, Gary Payton. Let's show these people if you're worth locking in for. There we go. Uh, that was fucking terrible. All right, get out of here. Yeah, he's not. He's definitely not going to be your offensive star, so you better hope you have offensive firepower if you do end up playing this card. All right, Allen Houston. He's got 12 points. They got four for four shooting. And he fumbles the ball great. All right. And my man has paused and ran out the entire pause clock. Thought he was going to quit, but nope. All right, Gary, let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh, step backs. Wet. All right. Timeout. Cool. Get some new players in. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad 2K spent so much time instead of like improving the game, but making sure that these little like teenage boys that dance at halftime are really fucking it up. Like I'm glad they spent time on that. That's good. Ooh, ooh, hit him. Oh man, somebody's uh, somebody's parents is very disappointed right now. 
All right, we got bench unit in. We got the god Vernon Maxwell out here. We're just going to run some on him so I can get a lead here. Yo, step backs. Can't stop that. Can't stop that. Vernon Maxwell is nice. I'm shooting 70% this quarter, so I'm definitely feeling the team a little bit more. Dennis Johnson fucking sucks, dude. Don't buy Dennis Johnson. He's so bad. Like, he's awful. Um, he's definitely... No, you know what? Even Tony Tony Allen has some redeeming qualities. Dennis Johnson is a terrible card, though. He's so bad. I he's slow. Why don't buy him? You could just go buy Gus Williams for like significantly less money, and he's so much better at literally everything. All right, let's see what's up with Doug Christie. Doug Christie is not terrible. He has these. Like a lot of cards have those, but I will say that like for the amount of money that you could get Doug Christie for, you might as well go get. Um, either Mitch Richmond or Allen Houston, just because they play the same position, they cost around the same. Um, they're significantly better than Doug Christie. But Doug Christie, that being said, is a pretty decent card. Like, if you draw him in a pack, use him. Like, he's not terrible. All right, let's go Maxwell. Oh, Bill Walton's good. Actually, Bill Walton is pretty big on the inside. He gets mad boards. There we go, Doug. Hit that. Bangers. So far, though, um, as far as the set goes, uh... Not a fan of the set. I, I mean, I kind of figured it wouldn't be a great set, but I figured at least there'd be, like, one, you know, diamond in the rough. But so far, all the lower tier cards are not very good. Um, yeah, even the higher tier cards. Like, Dennis Johnson is terrible. I mean, granted, he's against this Allen Iverson with good defensive badges and, like, 96 speed, but still, at the same time, like, it's it's not a great, not a great uh, card to use in this scenario. All right, what's up, Doug Christie? What you want to do? Ooh, ooh, dribble moves. Let's go. Fade away. I'm not hitting that. Too much coverage on that. Uh, we're, I mean, we're up by eight points in the fourth, so I mean, we'll be, we're gonna win this game. I'd be up by a lot more if I was shooting with like the guys I normally shoot with, as opposed to all these newer guys. Yeah, he's got that. But you know, if I was shooting more with Allen Houston and Mitch Richmond, I'd be fine. But. Here we go. The fact that I'm even up 10 shooting with these garbage-ass cards that I have is fine. All right. So he's going to run the entire timeout clock down. He's called three timeouts in a row. So this guy is the fucking worst, dude. Uh, he is, like, everything that's wrong with 2K Unlimited players. Like, he's literally just, like, pausing, using the whole clock, using all of his timeouts at the end of the game, and, like, running the entire timeout out. We got the bench, or we got the starters back in, though. So what's up? Let's give him some glove action here. There we go. Step backs. Wet. He does have those. I will say Gary Payton is good for it. What, what is this? I mean, I'm shooting 54%. Like, it's not great. You can't. Oh, yeah. Allen Iverson's got those, too. He's got those at a significantly higher clip, it would appear. All right, Gary Payton. Let's go. All right. He's got decent dribble moves. I will say that. What is this? All right, Comcast. Jesus. All right, so we got the highly anticipated Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Gary Payton jump ball coming. That's what we've all been waiting for. Can Gary Payton out-jump Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Let's see. No. No, he cannot. Not even remotely close. All right. Give it over to Iverson. That's wet. Yeah, that was a nice shot. I'm up five with a minute ten left, so I should be good, but Allen Iverson's got 32 on 68% shooting. Let's hit that with Mitch Richmond. I just want to ice the game real quick. There we go. He's on fire, and I haven't even shot any shots with him, so that's pretty funny. Must be must be holding it down on the defensive end. All right, Allen Houston. Nah, we give that back to Gary Payton. Oh, drive in. Booms. There we go. Gary Payton's got 16 points this game. Um, not my best output for sure, and after I play a few more games with him, I'll probably be able to score more. But the end result being, I don't think he is, is worth it at, at all. After playing this game, um, he is no better than the point guards that are already available. Uh, Derrick Rose is significantly better and costs significantly less. Um, Dennis Johnson is terrible, so not him. Uh, Gus Williams is probably better than Gary Payton. Mo Cheeks is worse, but it's not that by that much. Gary Payton has a nice mid-range and some nice dribble moves, but he's absolutely not worth the amount that it's going to cost you to lock in for this card. Even defensively, because, like, dude, it's like 2K18, 2K19. You can't play defense in this game. There's no point. It's just blow-bys and gross jump shots the whole time. Getting a defensive 
you know, a defensive maestro at this point is kind of pointless. He's not going to slow anyone down. He might get a steal or two every game, but is that worth clogging up like a not very good offensive player? Not really. I mean, he's got these, but so does everyone. So, yeah, I would say he's absolutely not worth it personally. Um, do I regret locking in for him? No. I mean, it is what it is. The set, none of these guys in the set are going to be that expensive. Um, especially once bigger, people figure out that Gary Payton's not that good. They'll all be pretty cheap, so locking in is not the worst thing you can do. I mean, Ben Wallace might be a little more expensive because there's not many diamonds up, but at the same time, it could be worse, and it's been worse. I've locked in some cards. Like, locking in for the next set in 2K20 with Zion was terrible. It, it was bad. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Um, like I said, I wouldn't I wouldn't go out of your way to go get Gary Payton. If you have all the cards and want to lock in, go right ahead. He's a decent guy, a decent guy, I guess. But definitely don't make it your mission to go lock in for him. Um, go get someone like Derrick Rose, um, Gus Williams, or James Silas instead. They're all much better point guard options. So uh, tune in later. I'll be doing some more gameplays and stuff like that. I appreciate everybody who subscribes to the channel. I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers. So have a good day.